Yale might be one of the prettiest colleges in America. And as much as I hate to say it, the campus tour videos they make are pretty freaking cool. But even though they may have the musical numbers, elaborate shots, and a budget way outside of my college bank account, there's just one thing about these videos that's still completely missing. These guys never actually show you around the campus. Now over the past few months, I've spent a ton of time at Yale and have talked to well over 100 students while I've been on campus. So even though there's a ton of aesthetic campus tours out there that load you with information, these tours aren't very genuine and they're getting paid to hype this place up. So I'm here to show you every single part of Yale's campus and I'm gonna try and do it in less than 10 minutes. So I'll meet you guys over at our first stop, Old Campus. Now starting off right at the bottom of campus, we have the one and only Old Campus Courtyard where you guessed it, Yale originally started. Now all around the yard, you're gonna find a ton of freshman dorms, an art museum on the outside, and a statue of President Woolsey that isn't riddled with lies like the John Harvard statue in Boston. And as far as I know, students don't usually tend to pee on this one nearly as much as the John Harvard statue. So touching the foot for good luck? Well, I think it's pretty safe to do. Now right outside the old campus, you'll stumble right across the Harkness Bell Tower, which in my opinion is probably the most badass part of this entire campus. I mean, you have the nice gothic architecture going on, a cool little clock in the middle, and when you put that together with the aesthetic brick buildings right next door, you get this amazing gothic colonial crossover vibe that just can't be beat. But speaking of crossovers, right next to the tower is the, uh, the Cross Campus. Now the Cross Campus is probably one of the busiest places around the entire school, and considering everything that surrounds this place, it kind of makes sense. I mean, right behind me, you're gonna find the Sterling Library, which is the biggest library on campus. All around the quad, you have a ton of different residential colleges, and the best part of them all, the iconic women's table, which doesn't really look like a table, but you know what? I'm rocking with it. And whether you're dedicating tables to women, men, or anything in between, you can study all of the above in the one and only Humanities Quad. Now this side of campus is what I like to call the people person side of school, quite literally. We are gonna find all your humanities classes, the law school right around the corner, and if you happen to stumble across a classroom, you'll see the only assignment is a, uh, huh, subscribe to your boy. Professor, professor, do they know you're trying to hit 100K by the end of the year? Oh, I almost forgot. If you guys wanna join the family, we'd love to have you here for our, well, I guess I'll have to tell you another time. So let's head back to the tour. Oh, hey. Long time no see. So right outside the humanities quad, you'll run straight into my favorite part of campus, the Beneke Plaza. Now the Beneke Plaza has a ton of different architecture all around the square. So no matter which way you look, I mean, you won't be disappointed. I mean, straight ahead, you'll see these massive columns that give off a European vibe, the Beneke Library, which has this awesome modern feel to it, and to top it all off, you got the Schwarzman Center that looks like it's straight out of the Vatican. But if you think the outside of this place looks cool, just wait till you see what's on the inside. And if you can't tell from the badass design in the lobby, this place has a lot of stuff to offer. So let me give you a little rundown. I mean, downstairs, you can grab a quick bite to eat at the Underground, which is one of the vibiest dining halls I've ever been to. They have this sick retro bar right next to it, a ton of study space all around, a store to buy snacks, their own version of the Harry Potter Hall. And once you step outside, you get another badass tower right in front of you. So I think it's safe to say, this part of campus, it truly is a work of art. Which is kind of fitting, because all around the SSS building, Triple S building, however you want to call it, you're gonna find what I like to call the artsy side of campus. So once you move outside of the main touristy part of campus, you'll actually run into some classroom buildings, like the School of Music, Psychology building, and the Engineering building which is thrown in there for some reason. But you know what? It's got a cool little archway in the back, so I'ma let it slide today. So this is Side City, and uh, to be honest, I have no idea what the hell goes on in there. But it looked kinda cool, so I figured I'd throw it in there. But, speaking of cool buildings, the, f excuse me, the further north you go on campus, the more cool buildings you're gonna see like this. And this, I mean, come on. You can't beat that shit. And even though some of the buildings around here combine that new modern architecture with some insanely unique styles, what they're doing on the inside of these places literally changes the world. Now on one side, you're gonna find all your political science buildings, while on the other side, you're gonna find a ton of different astronomy labs. So no matter which way you go, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that they're doing some pretty world-changing shit inside some of these classrooms. But I mean, if you were looking for a rocket scientist, then uh, you'd probably find one over here. Located at the very top of campus, we have the iconic Science Hill. And just to prove my point even further, the buildings around here, whoa, whoa, I sound like Jerry Seinfeld. All right, I'm losing my voice, so let's try this again. And just to prove my point even more, the buildings around here, they're even nicer. From the Klein Tower to Kroon Hall, Yale Science, Bass Center, and the Environmental Center, the buildings really do prove that it takes a true genius to study around here, except the geology building. But hey, the prison vibe kind of goes with the whole rock thing. So that works too. Now this is the Ingalls Ring. And for some reason, nobody ever shows this on the campus tours. But Yale is one of the only campuses out there with their own hockey arena and it's got a cool shell on the outside. So even though Harvard might have this place in football, 
When it comes to hockey, I gotta give it to Yale. But if playing hockey really isn't your thing, you can do a bunch of different activities right inside the PW. Located right behind the Humanity Squad, you have one of the biggest indoor gyms in the entire world. And even though Ivy League kids usually have that nerdy stereotype, I've gotten my ass kicked pretty bad in pickleball by some students here. And if you're looking for a nice meal after your workout, there's a shit ton of restaurants right outside of campus. Now this is kind of like the Harvard Square New Haven where you're gonna find a ton of different places like the bookstore, Lululemon, some of the best pizza places in America. Or if you want to grab a drink after a long day of studying, you have Toad's Bar right outside the Humanity Squad. So now that we have everything covered Bro, here, you forgot the residential colleges. You do this oh, every shit. time. I say right foot. <sighs> All right, let's speed run these colleges, starting off with Berkeley College, Styles College, Franklin College, Morse College, Murray House, and Hopper College. Woo! All right, I'm gonna get myself a fucking pizza. I'll see y'all next week. Now all around the yard. <laughs> now all around the. What the fuck, man? This is gonna be a long day.